So what are nootropics and do they work? So first, nootropics are also referred to as smart drugs or memory enhancers or cognitive enhancers as well as intelligence enhancers. And these are, you know, can be supplements, nutraceuticals, functional foods or herbs which improve mental functions like cognition, memory, intelligence, motivation, attention, concentration. Now the word nootropic was coined in 1972 um, and it's derived from some Greek words which basically mean to act or to bend or to turn the mind. So these nootropics work in a variety of different ways and are thought to work by altering the availability of certain uh, neurochemicals, neurotransmitters, enzymes, hormones, or by improving uh, circulation of oxygen or blood to the brain or even by stimulating nerve growth. Now some nootropics are more proven and well documented than others Others are still more ex experimental or more um, even just experiential in their data and in their effects. So what I'm going to do in this video is talk about um, my experience with nootropics as well as share with you um, some important information if you're going to be consuming these herbs and supplements and uh, some things that you can do to even amplify the results that you'll get from them. So now we've kind of understood uh, what a nootropic is. And I guess if you've seen the movie Limitless, that's kind of a very um, <laughs> idealistic idea as, as far as what these things can do. Now, I haven't come across anything that's that powerful. Not to say that it doesn't exist, but just haven't really seen it yet. So the question is, do they work? Do nootropics work? The answer is yes. Now, that comes with a few caveats. Number one, some of these substances... Um, only show their effects after you know a long period of time, after weeks or months of consuming them. Some, however, can be felt within you know minutes or even hours within taking them. And then also along with that, we need to understand that yes, some of these really do work and really do have profound effects, but the the effects that they have are different for each person. Meaning, some products will work really well for some people. Some products won't really do anything. For another person and then even for an individual you might take one product uh, one month and then you know a month later it doesn't do anything for you and that's really because you know our neurochemistry and our basic biochemistry and physiology is kind of always changing and shifting and you might take something one day and then after a while you know the effects kind of bottom out and you don't really notice it anymore so for me I can remember herbs that I've taken in the past that did amazing things for me that don't really do amazing things for me anymore so just try different things, do different things, try other things, it's pretty simple. So while we're on that note, a couple of important points to, to know now that we understand what a nootropic is and understand that yes, they do work. However, different ones work differently for different people and at different times, so we need to understand that. So a couple more important points if we're going to be taking them. The first thing that I want to bring up is to, to use these for a reason, meaning don't just take it and like sit around and play video games or just watch TV. Take it because you have a reason to be taking it, meaning you want to improve a certain function or overcome something, or you want to you know use it for a meaningful situation. So that could be reading something or studying something or presentation or for work or for a social event. But take it for a reason and for an, you know something we're going to get the real benefit from it. Also, one thing that's important for a lot of these things is to you know, take breaks every now and again, cycle off and take time off. And this can kind of m mitigate your body getting really accustomed to something. Because sometimes, you know, it takes a couple months and then if the effects, you don't really notice them as much. Sometimes it's a couple weeks. Depends on your metabolism. Depends on just where you're at and how balanced you are. So it's important to remember to sometimes take time, take, you know, a day off or a week off or a month off, depending on your dosage uh, schedule. Third is to obviously use common sense when consuming these things, to do research and to understand which substances you can experiment with high doses on and which substances you should stick to the recommended dosages. Meaning there are some um, supplements and herbs which if you take higher doses, there can be side effects. There can be you know, nothing that's likely going to kill you or really hurt you, but they can be uncomfortable or kind of unwanted. However, there's some herbs that you can take, um, you know, higher doses of and actually get better results. So, you know, one thing like that would be MSM. That's a great supplement. But if you follow what the bottle says, 
you never really get the right, you never really get the effect. So you, this is something you can take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 times the recommended dose on the bottle and get great results. However, that's not a line of thinking that you want to apply to everything. So that's why I'm saying use common sense, do research, and understand the various dosages for the different substances. So now I want to tell you about um, some, some of the nootropics which I've used, which have actually worked and had benefit, and which are relatively inexpensive and pretty, pretty well safe and tolerated by most people. Uh, the first is L-theanine. Um, this is one that just really helps to kind of calm your mind and help put you uh, in more of an alpha state where you can focus and concentrate. And this is an amino acid found in green tea, so that's why oftentimes people you know, take green tea and can focus better. Um, so that's one. It's really it's really inexpensive, really easy to use. Uh, another one is 5-HTP, which I've used a little bit, but this is one where you don't really want to do it every day for a long time because it works with um, you know the serotonin pathways. So for some people, if you're really deficient in that, sure you might need it. But if you're not really deficient in it, then you probably don't need to keep pressing that button. Uh, third thing that I've used, which was effective, was vinpocetine. And this just, um, from what I understand and from what I've read, really helps to increase circulation to the brain and is a uh, vaso uh, expander or vasodilator, however you want to call it. And uh, that has some pretty good research about it as well, and it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, fourth thing which I've taken, which I don't necessarily recommend, is um, pure phenylethylamine, which is called PEA, which is found in chocolate and it's found in blue-green algae. But you can get it in just its pure form. Yes, it's not It's not totally natural. It's obviously synthetic, and it's obviously a white powder, which tastes terrible, but it has pretty strong and immediate effects. So that's one that I don't really recommend, but definitely does work. Um, next would be some herbs. So Makuna works on uh, the dopamine pathway. We get has so much uh, L-dopa in it. Raw chocolate is actually, could, I, I would consider it a nootropic because, you know, between the theobromine, the PEA, the anandamide, and all the minerals and other things that are in it, it can really put you in the zone and focus. Uh, Shazandra is also, I would consider a nootropic, at least for me, because it's very calming and grounding and can help you focus. And it's even been shown to help with uh, memory recall and learning and all of these things. And then I would even consider holy basil and reishi mushroom in that class as well because for me and for a lot of other people they really you know calm the nervous system down to help you be able to focus so to recap and close that part of the this video is basically depending on our various um, balances meaning if we're dopamine deficient we would benefit more from herbs which can benefit that or if we're serotonin is jacked up we can benefit more benefit more from herbs or supplements that work on that if we're just constantly stressed and working on fight or flight all the time. You know, adaptogens like schizandra and reishi and holy basil can really help with that. So that's why it's important to understand that really no one thing will necessarily work the same or will necessarily be beneficial for everyone. You have to take a little bit of time and understand where you're at and just try different things and see what works for you. Pay attention to what resonates with you. Pay attention to what's really attractive. I Meaning you might have four or five options in front of you and one of those might jump out to you or one of those might be most attractive to you and follow that and pay attention to that. So lastly to close the video I want to want to share one thing that you can do if you're going to be taking these substances and you want to get even more results out of them. And I want to recommend highly, highly <laughs> for anyone who wants to improve cognition or intellect or emotional stability to practice meditation uh, use the various brainwave technologies which are out there which I've outlined in other videos as well as you know positive imagery and positive thinking and generating positive emotions within, within yourself and I think if you take all of these things and combine it with you know supplements and herbs and nootropics you'll get far better results meaning a lot of people want to just change nothing about themselves and nothing about their habits and lifestyle they just want to take a pill and feel better and really that whole line of thinking just needs to be set aside and replaced with something more constructive. And that's all I'm going to say on that because it's not the scope or context of this video. So hopefully uh, we've seen what nootropics are, how they work, how they can and can't work for some different people, as well as some important points 
that you need to keep in consideration when consuming them. And I share with you my experience and some that have really worked for me. And then lastly, how you can combine other things with these nootropics to get even better, more amplified results. If you're wanting to you know, increase cognition or memory or learning or any of these various uh, capabilities which we've discussed so far. So I'll post uh, some links below where you can learn more about these various uh, nootropics as well as their benefits and um, as well as which ones might be best for you. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.